my channel thank you so much for watching so today's video is going to be a hair tutorial and not just any hair tutorial but a special one for Valentine's Day I've already done a makeup tutorial for Valentine's Day so I will put the link in the information box below for you in case you wanted to watch it I wanted to create something really pretty and feminine for Valentine's Day so I got inspired by the beautiful Kate Middleton's hair I'm gonna insert a photo here for you to see she's absolutely gorgeous and I think this hairstyle is just perfect for Valentine's Day so it's a crisscross twist, half updo, and you could do it with curly hair or straight hair. I decided to curl my hair because I prefer it like this. And I use this beautiful tool here by Fabulous. It's called Curl Secret. If you want to know a little bit more about it, I've already done like a review slash hair tutorial on my blog, which is vickysbeauty.com, but I will put a link to in the information box for you if you want to read it. I also use some hair extension just to add some more volume and length to my hair. And the ones that I use are the clip hair as always. I love clip clip hair and I have so many of their products. The ones I use today are the full head clipping hair extensions that are 100% Remy Human hair and they are the wavy ones. So as you can see they're already wavy so when I clip them in they're already wavy. Just had to uh, curl my own hair. Okay so very quickly I'm going to go through the products that we're going to need for this tutorial. There really are not many. Um, I've already used this Batiste dry shampoo. I mean I love Batiste and I always use it but I think it's great for just kind of um, adding that little bit of volume in your hair. This is the Bright and Lively Floral Essence and I believe this is new perhaps for spring. It's just beautiful, it looks really nice and although it's white I tend to use the brown one, the brunette one. Um, but although this is white powder is actually okay, uh, once you massage it in it disappears so you can't really see in brunette hair. So I use a little bit of this all over my crown here and massage it in for a little bit of volume. I also use the Batiste uh, XXL Plumping Powder, which is a really fine powder that you put into your roots again and massage in and it gives you tons of volume. And then you could just massage in later and reactivate it so it gives you that volume again. Amazing product, really love it. Um, and after curling my hair, I also use the L'Oreal El Net Satin, and this is my favorite hairspray. I used to use this all the time, and then I switched to Tresemme, which I also like, but I definitely prefer this one. Um, you will also need some sort of a hairbrush. I use the Tango Teaser, which is just here, my pink one. And also uh, a teasing brush. I love this one by Hedgehog number 103. This is great for teasing up here because we want to create that volume. And you're going to need some bobby pins. I had to buy some new ones because I run out of them. I just lose them all the time. Um, and also some hair grips. I would recommend the really thin clear ones, but because I didn't have any, I couldn't find any in the shop the other day, I just got these. Okay, so without further ado, let's go right into it. Okay guys, so start off by applying some British dry shampoo onto your roots and massaging it in. That would really help to add some um, more volume and a little bit of texture as well. Out on the Apply some Batiste XXL plumping powder onto the roots again and then massaging. That really helps with the volume. And later on, when we need to put half of our hair up, that would really help for it to stay up and look slightly more voluminous. <laughs> Kiss me. Next, brush your hair through and decide where you want your parting. I decided to put mine in the middle, just like Kate's and then started uh, back combing to create that volume up in my crown. So next, smooth out your hair at the top and just gather the crown and either pin it or tie it at the back. So for the first section, gather all the hair from above your left ear and split into two parts. So we're going to twist them separately clockwise away from uh, your ear and then pin them just above the little ponytail that you've already created. I'm really sorry that you can't really see what I'm doing here. It was really hard filming this tutorial because 
I was, I had my back to the camera and I couldn't really see what I was doing. But you are going to see clearly when I do the other side. Then just repeat on the right side, doing exactly the same. Twist um, away from the ear and then pin back. Beside the green, green grass Swing, swing Swing the spinning step I'll wear the shoes And you will wear that dress Oh, kiss me That's it, all done I really hope you found this tutorial helpful guys And if you decide to be creative Please tweet me or Instagram me a picture Also if you enjoyed this video Please click like or share As well as subscribe for more videos Thank you so much for watching. Happy Valentine's Day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. So kiss me.